Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. In today's video, we are going to learn about what are the different types of radioactive decay. That is what happens to the atomic number and mass number during alpha decay, beta decay, gamma decay, positron emission and electron capture. Okay, so let us first talk about alpha decay. What is the meaning of alpha decay? It is loss of alpha particle. Okay, let us understand this with the help of an example. Uranium, okay, atomic mass is 238, atomic number is 92. I am removing. So, decay means removal of alpha particle. What is alpha particle? We had seen in the last video, it is helium nuclei. Atomic number is 2, mass number is 4. So, what will happen? Atomic mass number 238 minus 4. That will be 234 okay and 92 minus 2 that is 90 okay and this is which species this is thorium okay so this is the alpha decay so what is the conclusion for alpha decay you can see what will be the conclusion whenever you remove one alpha particle what happens the atomic mass number decreases by 4 units that is minus 4 and atomic number decreases by 2 units Okay, this is very very important what is capital a capital a is the atomic mass atomic mass number and z is atomic number okay this was for one alpha decay if there are number of alpha particles accordingly you have to uh, subtract okay this was alpha decay now let us see what is beta decay Beta decay is loss of beta particle. So, let us understand this with an example. Iodine, 131 is the atomic mass. And atomic number is 53. Now, minus beta decay. What is beta particle? We had seen it is electron. Okay, charge is minus 1 and mass is 0. Okay, what will happen? 131 minus 0 is 131. So, the atomic mass number remains the same and what will change? The atomic number will change. 53 minus of minus 1. Minus of minus 1 means it is plus 1. Okay. So, what will happen to the atomic number? It will increase by 1 unit. Okay. So, what we will get is xenon. 53 plus 1 is 54. So, what is the conclusion for this beta decay? Okay. The conclusion is the atomic mass number will remain same but the atomic number it will what it will increase by one unit okay z plus one okay whatever is the atomic number it will increase by one unit okay this is what this is beta particle that is electron okay loss of beta particle so whenever there is one law one beta particle loss you will increase the atomic number by one unit if there are let's say three beta particles that are lost or three electrons that are lost you will increase the atomic number by three units okay now let us see the third one next is gamma decay next is gamma decay okay it is a nuclear reaction where gamma particle or photons will be emitted what is the example the example for this is uranium 238 okay, 92 this will undergo nuclear fission that means this will undergo uh, the larger nuclei will break into smaller nucleus that is thorium 234 90 plus helium 4 2 plus there will be two photons that are released okay this is the same reaction that we had seen for alpha decay here photons will also be removed this is nothing but that is a gamma decay that is electromagnetic radiation is removed that is why this is called as gamma decay okay this was gamma decay now let us see the next one next is positron emission positron emission okay what is a positron 
positron is we had seen it is similar to electron the only difference is mass is zero charge is opposite charge is plus one okay so let us take an example carbon 11 6 okay i'm removing a positron okay so what i will get 11 minus 0 is 11 and 6 minus 1 will be 5 okay so what i've got is atomic number 5 is of boron okay so what will happen conclusion for this will be the conclusion for a positron emission is the atomic mass number remains same and atomic number will decrease by one unit atomic number will decrease by one unit it was six now it has become five so this was for the positron emission what was the conclusion for gamma decay we had seen what is a gamma particle it is a electromagnetic radiation so the charge and mass both are zero so whenever a gamma decay takes place what will happen both atomic number atomic mass number will also remain same atomic number will also remain same okay this was for positron emission and last is electron capture last is electron capture now what is the meaning of electron capture reaction with an electron okay we are reacting with an electron okay so the example is 81 rubidium 37 is the atomic number what is electron Ma mass is 0 charge is minus 1 okay what do we get 81 plus 0 is 81 okay and 37 minus 1 is 36 so what will happen and what is the element that is formed krypton 36 atomic number is of krypton plus there is one another species that is formed that is called as neutrino okay neutrino is a species which has very small mass okay neutrino is represented by like this nu e this is called neutrino it has very small mass and no charge it's similar to electron and no charge okay ma similar to electron in terms of mass electron also doesn't have mass right and the difference is it does not have any charge okay so this was for electron capture what is the conclusion for this what happens the atomic mass number is same okay atomic mass number is same and atomic number it was it decreases by one unit okay you can see uh, it is similar to positron emission the only difference is here there is loss of positron and here we are adding an electron but the conclusion is the same so here we come to the end of this video thank you so much